If you're about to hop into the world of pump action shotguns, but are feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all of the options on the market, stay tuned, because today we're taking a look at four of our favorite beginner-friendly scatter guns. What is up guys, my name is John with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Whether for home defense, hunting, or something a little bit more tactical, shotguns offer an impressive amount of modularity in both form and function. While today we're focused on four of our favorite pump action shotguns that have all seen a fair amount of personal use, you can peep the description below for a link to our full article where we cover all of our builds in detail with some semi-auto options as well. And while we're sure we're about to trigger fanboys on all sides of the fence, in our opinion, any brand name 12 gauge is pretty much gonna be good to go. Because realistically, there isn't a ton of difference between the two flagships of the 12 gauge pump action shotgun world, being the Remington M870 and the Mossberg M500. While I'm sure some of you are pushing up your anime nerd glasses and are about to type an essay on the difference between 870 and M500 extractor claws, rivets, and the handful of other factors that set them apart, for the beginner grabbing their first shotgun, these very squarely don't matter. So what then are the actual differences? The Mossberg series of shotguns generally have their safety levers on top of the shotgun's receiver in the rear, meaning that it's maybe a little bit more ergonomic to access with your thumb than the 870's safety which rides just behind the trigger guard. Outside of that, you shouldn't worry too much. Both Remington and Mossberg model guns will have a comparable bevy of aftermarket parts and accessories available to make tweaks if that's your thing, but at the end of the day, a pump action shotgun is sort of a pump action shotgun. As we mentioned, all of the guns that we're looking at today are 12 gauge, and while the smaller 20 gauge is perfectly serviceable, we quite enjoy the extra oomph that the 12 gauge cartridge provides despite its additional weight and recoil impulse. With all of that being said, let's take a look at a few of the team's personal shotguns and we can walk you through all of the modifications that we've had done to them. Up first, we've got my personal Remington M870. This bad boy started life as one of Remington's 26 inch hunting models, but has undergone a little bit of plastic surgery since then. I swapped out the barrel for a 20 inch variant as I don't really ever intend on using it for hunting and the shorter barrel profile makes it a tiny bit more maneuverable in close spaces. I've also added a Choate magazine tube extension, bringing my overall shell capacity to seven in the tube and one in the chamber. The footage you see in the desert shows a riot style pump as well, which replaced the huge hunting forend it came with from the factory, but since then I've added a Streamlight TL rack which gives me an integrated 500 lumen light in the pump. As I mentioned earlier, one of the primary differences between the 870 series and the Mossberg 500s is the location of the safety button. The 870's safety is accessible by pressing the button inward or outward with the thumb or trigger finger. And while I've grown used to it from using the shotgun for over a decade, some of our team prefer the topside safety found on the Mossbergs instead. Perhaps the only downside to the Remington safety placement is that you do have to visually check it by tilting the gun to the side ever so slightly if you've got it shouldered. And while it's a little bit obnoxious, it's not that big of an issue. I've actually been meaning to swap the stock stock out for something a little bit shorter or perhaps a top folder, but I actually don't shoot this shotgun a whole lot, so it's a little bit of a back burner project. Just to give you an idea of how wide the array of accessories available for the 870 are, here's another gun set up a little bit differently, with a Mesa Tactical top folding stock and an OG Surefire 870 Picatinny rail, underscoring the versatility of the platform. Up next is our friend's Mossberg 500. It's got a hogue stock to soak up some recoil and add a bit of grippy texture. Up front, we've got a Surefire shotgun forend grip with an integrated light, and further back, another shot shell carrier is installed on the receiver. The sling has also got a shot shell bandolier as well, and while it's not the flashiest of rigs, it is incredibly functional if you need to carry a ton of spare rounds on the shotgun platform itself. Up next is our editor's Mossberg 590A1. This gun was set up to run heavy metal three gun comps that only allow pump action shotguns. The mag tube holds eight rounds plus one in the chamber, with an additional six on the side of the receiver. The ghost ring rear sight and high vis blade style front sight make target acquisition in a competition setting a tad bit easier, and the homebrewed stencil paint job adds plus five charisma. Additionally, the heat shield shields your hands from heat. Finally, we've got our super budget friendly build in the Maverick 88. 
The Maverick is essentially a clone of a Mossberg 500 for all intents and purposes, with one notable exception being the safety placement, which is slightly out of the way in front of the trigger guard. Coming in at about $200 before accessories, the Maverick 88 is a great option for those who'd rather save a little on the base gun and throw the extra cash at add-ons. It's also compatible with the vast majority of aftermarket M500 parts, and we've got ours set up with a shot shell carrier on the receiver, and a recoil reducing fab defense stock system that costs more than the base shotgun itself. All right guys, that's gonna do it for us today, but before we dip out, we do wanna know, if you have a shotgun, how do you have it set up? Go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. Once again, my name is John with PewPew Tactical, and we will see you next time.